Hello. Oh, um, wanted to get a little movie update. Um, got a few more movies. Um, uh, within the last week or so. And, um, you know, as mentioned last week, one of them, uh, from the film I talked about last week, you know, you probably already know, I'm sure what that is, but you know, I'm gonna uh, go through these, um, just talk a little bit about them, and, and it'll be that. There's only three um, this time, and um, yeah. So the first film is uh, The Northman. Um, saw this in the theater, loved it. Um, didn't talk about it at first because, well, well, this film didn't really do well at all in the theater, unfortunately. It was a, like a flop. Didn't make its money back. And even though it was praised by critics and by all those who saw it, um, it just didn't uh, really do anything. Like, maybe it was marketed badly or something else. Maybe people just had no interest in watching a film like this. Whatever the case may be, um, it just was a flop, and um, yeah, I'll probably talk about this in the next video, but um, it's made by Robert Eggers, who made The Lighthouse. I love The Lighthouse. I think it's, I've already talked about that, and I think it's excellent. Um, he also made The Witch, uh, director is Robert Eggers. Um, but yeah, it's really, it's just incredible. It's just fantastic from beginning to end, I, uh, I think. And um, it's deserving of the praise it's got. I'll just say that. Um, and the next other film I have is uh, The Conversation. Um, as mentioned in the text last uh, week, I... Uh, got a you know I got this not long after I made the video uh, wasn't very expensive at all and uh, so yeah I have this now and the special features are excellent uh, also the special features on here are fantastic also um, you know so if you like uh like special features and stuff, this is a excellent thing to get. Uh, excellent Blu-ray, otherwise a thing. Um, and same with this, you know, you have a, uh, uh, interviews and featurettes and screen tests, uh, archival dictation of the script that Coppola has given, and uh, just just fantastic stuff that's uh, I think really uh, makes the movie even more interesting you know sometimes the making of these movies are really good and um, so uh, in some cases it can even be better than the actual movie um, sometimes not but I guess it really just depends on what the movie is and uh, how it's made. Of course, this movie was not all that expensive to make. So, uh, uh, some of the techniques and everything used is very interesting and uh, just to uh, uh, learn about how certain things were done, you know, especially with the sound design. Very good film. If you haven't watched it, it's worth watching. Very underrated um, and deserves more recognition. And the last movie I got is Scream 5. And no, I'm not calling it Scream because it's not a remake or reboot. I saw this in the theater also. Um, but I did not uh, 
talk about it. Um, because, quite frankly, I had mixed feelings about the film, and, and quite frankly, I guess you know, I still do, but I'll probably talk about this uh, next month or two. In October. Yeah, yeah, it is next month. Thinking it's still August for some reason, but anyway. Um, yeah. There's some good stuff, I think. Some good ideas in this, but it's just the overall movie. I'm kind of like... You know, it's... It's interesting. I'll have like notes or stuff written so I can go off here and there. So I'll probably look away from the camera at times. So hopefully you'll f forgive me when I do talk about this um, when that happens. But yeah, this movie is um, yeah. Just to summarize my thoughts on it, it's. Um, has some good ideas, but the execution just wasn't the best, if that makes sense. And this movie was praised quite a bit, so, you know, and I generally want to talk about stuff I like um, on this channel with movies, but, you know, the, the I've talked about the first four already. You know, I might as well uh, continue and give my thoughts on the fifth film. Regardless of how, you know, I, I think about it, you know, you know, you know, you know, up until this one, like the third film I thought was sort of the weakest, but I forgave it because of the, all went and what went on with the development of the movie and having to change the script from what it was initially going to be uh, about like the premise overall things were changed so on that end I can sort of you know you can forgive and uh, excuse uh, uh, that movie for turning out the way it did and if it you know it's very if it was unsatisfactory to many people uh, overall for at that time the conclusion to that trilogy you know I think in a way you can, I, at least I can excuse it. You know, I was able to at least excuse it and be like, thought it was still good, you know, still do. But, you know, it's like uh, the, the premise overall, what was supposed to happen, and the conflicting stories with the Hollywood angle of Scream 3 and some stuff like it was always supposed to be like that, or in some way that was supposed to be there, and others not so much. But regardless of all of that, you know, this movie, um, I just have more mixed feelings about this, you know, it's not written by, uh, Kevin Williamson, he's a producer, but he did not write the script just like he didn't write the, the Scream 3, uh, the script for Scream 3 that was approved, um, <clears throat> Because he was busy, I believe, producing, making Dawson's Creek at that point. So he couldn't at all uh, come back and make the changes to the third script. Um, that, you know, uh, would be needed to, you know, satisfy everybody. So that the overall uh, plot and like, whatever theme of that film was going to be remain intact and instead they didn't want to wait for him they didn't want to wait various months they wanted just to get screen three made and out which also you know leads to you know nev campbell not being in the film as much and uh, there's something with something like that in this film i won't get into but yeah it's It's, it's an interesting film, to say at the least. Um, 
that. So I don't know. I mean, you know, Caleb Williamson's dialogue and um, his writing, you know, it, it's missing. Um, and of course, the uh, lack of direction. Um, Wes Craven is also not there. So, uh, but I'll get into all that and other things when I talk about it. And so it will be a spoiler uh, uh, discussion of the film, what happens. So, you know, if you're not uh, fond of uh, spoilers and you haven't seen this movie, you know, I guess skip that uh, video next month when that happens. Um, but yeah, um, those are the movies that I've, um, I got. You know, love this film. It's excellent, and love this too. Um, so I'll talk about this next time. I've already talked about this, uh, but, you know, thought I might as well, you know, show it, because... I don't know if I'll ever talk about this again in any great depth, at least not anytime soon, that I can think of. So, because of that, you know, here it is. Here's the Blu-ray that I couldn't show off last time because, well, I didn't <laughs> have the Blu-ray. I just, I had to watch it, you know, the um, film streaming, which wasn't bad at all, you know. Quality was quite good, um, which sometimes when you stream quality can sort of depend um, on if uh, you know it's if it's going well and all that so um, but yeah I just wanted to show this off because <laughs> I didn't get to last time and, uh, yeah, I'll talk about this next week. I'll probably watch it again just before I discuss it that way. It is very fresh in my mind. And, um, excellent film. Excellent cast and everything. So, yeah. So, those are the movies I've gotten recently. And, uh, yeah. I hope, uh... All of you are having a great day. I uh, hope all of you are having a great weekend and a great week. I'll see you all next time. Bye.